Hey, thanks for dropping by. Just gonna look at five random metal CDs and got some fun ones today. And we're gonna start with In Eternum. This is called Past and Present Sins. So In Eternum are a Swedish death metal band. Well, probably more of a black in death metal band that formed in 1994. The first two albums came out on Necropolis. I remember those from the metal magazine, seeing those advertised. And uh, after those two full lengths, they put out this, which is a compilation. It consists of eight unreleased songs, uh, four live tracks, and two covers, one King Diamond and one Venom. Now, not much for live material or cover songs, but it, but it's all it's all pretty good, and I really like the original material on here. I definitely want to go and check out those old rounds, and I think they are still around to this day, and they put out several things. King Diamond, Abigail. Don't need to give him much of an introduction, but this is the second solo album the debut album fatal portrait that's probably my favorite king diamond release but this one here is definitely one of the best and probably his most renowned and probably the best selling i'd, I'd have to assume but this contains the family ghost and that was kind of my introduction to king diamond there was a i probably brought it up before but there was a show called loud and before that song called power 30 metal uh programming on the Canadian MTV and there was a music video for the family ghosts I saw that and even though I didn't like the singing at the time it kind of blew my mind and also a friend of mine his dad was an entertainment lawyer and he had all sorts of uh, promo material in his basement and I just remember finding some CD with just really uh, like alternative rock bands on some uh, CD and uh, the Family Ghost was also on there, so I dubbed on a cassette and, uh, again, kind of brought about uh, my uh, fandom of King Diamond, who, again, I didn't really get into big time until I was, was an adult. But classic album, hard to pick, best tracks, but the beginning and the end had the arrival and Black Horseman, amazing way to start and end the album so I'm gonna go with those I've only seen King Diamond live one time that was like nine years ago but a top 10 show for me and I hope to see him again before he retires voices this album is called London and it's their second of four albums and uh, this one came out in 2014 Against an English band featuring two members of Akrakok. I think one is a original member and one is a more recent member. But they uh, have a similar sound, Akrakok, in terms of being like uh, progressive death metal with black metal touches. But this is definitely a more mainstream version. It's less heavy, a bit of a post punk vibe and a more urban, uh, reality-based concept and, and lyrics. And I do think this is a, a concept album of sorts. I think it might just be like, you know, the nightlife of, uh, the dark side of the nightlife of London or, or something like that. Maybe it's more specific. But, uh, I heard this album when it came out. I downloaded it, and I thought it was pretty cool. But just... These last couple months, I've been on a big Akrakot kick. I've been aware of them since their demo way back in the day, but I just never really listened to them. And I've listened to their whole catalog several times recently. And yeah, I'm really late to the game, but they're like one of the most uh, amazing death metal bands ever. Just interesting, never gets old. I say that as a new fan, but I just mean like, it's just really fresh sounding and I'm gonna be listening to more of them and more voices. Got this one recently, Old Man's Child, The Pagan Prosperity. Just a real sucker for 90s metal. 
This came out on Century Media, 1997. And so Old Man's Child are a black metal band from Norway, led by Galder, who has been a member of Demi Borgir ever since 2000. And they put out, I believe, like seven full-length albums and uh, have done nothing since 2009. But I have uh, fond memories of this one. Again, I just bought this recently. Saw so used at a store I like to drop by once a year at. And uh, the first song on here, The Millennium King, and the third song, Soul Possessed, they were on various samplers that I uh, came across when I was probably like 15. And I just listened to those a million times walking to and from school back in the day. In the winter, it just kind of made an impression on me back then. And, uh, you know what? Upon, uh, like, getting a copy of this and listening to it, I don't like it as much now as I like the, the kind of material back then. Basically, might be a lazy comparison, but you take Demi Borgir, scale it down, take away all the frills. Similar to Old Man's Child. I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. But I'm happy to have it in my collection. And a lesser known band to end it off with. This is Manta Hungal. This is lo-fi stripped down black metal from Indonesia. I get the impression, or I've read somewhere, that these lyrics are in Dutch. Uh, again, very noisy but still enjoyable death metal. I, I quite like this one. And I think they've done several things, so I'll give them a shot somewhere else down the line. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.